Today we let Smash Ultimate Imperialism decide which Wii U character is truly the best. Let me explain. So on this wheel are 17 different fighters that they were first introduced in Smash 4, aka Smash for the Wii U and Smash for the 3DS. So 17 characters, we're going to spin this wheel and see which character it lands on. We will then spin this arrow to see which way that character will be attacking. So let's just say, hypothetically, the character wheel landed on Palutena and the arrow pointed southeast. Palutena would travel southeast until she reached Duck Hunt and they would fight on his home turf with two stocks active and the Smash Ball, of course. Uh, I think that's it. There's, you know, no damage handicap or any other shenanigans. Uh, Defender gets home turf advantage, two stocks, and um, Smash Ball. We got a lot of stuff to go, a lot of fighters in this episode, so let's waste no time. Leave down in the comments who you think the best Wii U fighter in Smash Ultimate is, because Wii U imperialism begins now. And we spin the wheel. The first character we are going to see is Duck Hunt. So if we go northwest, the intro example will just be inverted. So that'd be kind of cool. And Duck Hunt will be attacking north. So while it is not northwest, it is north. And we just missed Politana. Duck Hunt will be attacking Shulk on his home turf. Let's see what's going to happen in round one. Here we go. Honestly, I would be happy with either competitor winning here. Shulk has the different style, speed style, jump style, smash style. But Duck Hunt, it'd be funny. Because it's, I mean, look at him. Look at him. All right, here we go. So... Shulk was actually able to use his recovery to get rid of Duck Hunt's neutral B. Alright, and the aerial game from Shulk is proving to have dividend. Oh my gosh, I thought Duck Hunt SD'd. Ho ho ho! Shulk went for the forward aerial, didn't quite work out. <gasps> I thought he didn't. Dude, Shulk is playing a dangerous game right now. Like, he's getting a lot of damage, but honestly, he's almost SD'd three times, and there's only two stocks. So he's got to he's got to cool it. The Smash Ball is active very very early. This could be very very good for Duck Hunt. What is he doing? Okay. So is anyone does anyone want it? Wow, Duck Hunt went for the down air. It doesn't work out. They don't get the spike. And we're just going to let the Smash Ball leave, I guess. Oh my gosh, we're both going for all the spikes. Smash Ball's coming to us. Duck Hunt was able to grab it in one hit and then use it as well. Is Shulk gone? I don't know. He's not. Duck Hunt did take the lead. Got a lot of damage on Shulk. Was not able to get the stock though. Shulk has been owning Duck Hunt this entire time. And Shulk finally SDs after 800 times of Air Slash. Air Slash. It was, I mean, it was only a matter of time before it finally, you know, finally backfired. All right, speaking of the style, Shulk has his Smash style active, and a dash attack is going to do it. So Shulk and Duck Hunt are back to basically even. Duck Hunt's going for... Wow, I thought the forward aerial from Duck Hunt was going to do it. Oh, if that down air landed, it would have been catastrophic for Duck Hunt. They're really just playing the aerial game. They want the, the um, TikTok clip. They want to end up... Oh, no. Duck Hunt. I thought he SD'd, bro. Why are we just hanging off the edge? Like, we're not... Like, can you stand on a platform? Please. Okay. All right. They trade blows in the air. All right. Wow. Shulk! He got the down air, but Duck Hunt's recovery is just too good. Dude, Shulk is abusing that air slash. Golly. I mean, it's working for him. He's... If Duck Hunt didn't get the Smash Ball, I don't think Duck Hunt stands a chance. But the thing is, Duck Hunt has a huge lead because of the Smash Ball. About 40%. So, I mean, that's 
That's massive. Although, Shulk can get a stock here. No, okay, never mind. Oh, Smash! Smash style is active. Jump is active now. Air Slash! Bro. Shulk SD twice, bro. Like, can we actually, like, give us some competition to watch instead of air slashing off your own home turf? You did that. You deserve to fail. And although I am proud of Duck Hunt, he did not earn anything. Shulk decided that he didn't want to play anymore. And we're going to move on and not think about Shulk because he didn't think about his recovery and how to actually use it properly. Anyway, hopefully round two will bring us a better match than round one. We're going to see Mega Man. Okay. But who will he be attacking? And please, please let it be a better match. I'm so mad at Shulk right now. Mega Man will be attacking east. A tad south. Mainly east, though. I truly don't know if the Tad South mattered, but Bowser Jr. is going to be defending his home turf. Bowser Jr. also does not have a home turf, so I'm going to have to go find one for him, and hopefully it won't backfire on him. Um, I wish it was just like Bowser's Castle or something, but uh, that is not a stage in this game. So we're going to see what this match brings us when I find Jr.'s home turf. Here we go. We're going to Mushroom Kingdom, the Wii U edition, or whatever. We're going to this one. Alright, any questions? Here we are. <laughs> so let's see. Shulk's home turf actually hindered him and lost him the round. We're going to see if Bowser Jr.'s home turf does the same. Mega Man getting a crazy combo. Oh my gosh. Up air, up smash. Back air, forward air, down B. He has not been hit yet. He has 80% damage on Junior. Junior finally gets a hit with a forward air. But my gosh, it took ages. And Junior got the smash ball. Although he has one of the worst smashes in the game. I mean, like, it's just not good. Oh my gosh. Mega Man fell, back aired. And almost got Junior. Ford Air. Doesn't get it done. Wow. Mega Man is just toying with Junior right now. It's not even close. <gasps> Mega Man. What happened? What was... What was he trying to do? He got stuck under the stage, but... What is happening? I will never understand Smash Imperialism. Just when I think I finally start to understand, I never do. Wow. Dodged a forward smash from Mega Man, and then Bowser Jr. launches one himself. Eats the forward air. Surprisingly, Jr. just needs to get any kind of damage he can, because he's at 160. Yeah, that's going to do it. Okay, he fell right into the up smash. But because of Mega Man's blunder, Jr. actually has a really good chance here. Mega Man was owning Junior wasn't even close and now Junior is just going to town Junior almost SD'd that would have been hysterical but I would have been livid alright Mega Man dodges the explosion from Junior's recovery does not parry the um the jab attack okay if Mega Man gets this that is a huge bonus to Mega Man, and he could actually win. Next hit should break it. Okay, next hit definitely breaks it now. Dude, if Junior gets it, it's over. Mega Man footstools! Get the freaking Smash Ball, Mega Man! You're gonna lose! Okay, well, Mega Man just freaking threw the game away. They're both attacking Nabbit. Oh no, Nabbit got Mega Man. I think he's gone. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If you told me Junior was going to win that within the first minute, I would have laughed in your face. But Junior did win it. 
I'm not happy with any of these performances. Can we get a good match with, like, nothing stupid to happen, please? Like, I, I just want a normal round. Um, yeah. There's not much to say, and we got too many fights. I can't linger here. Congrats to Junior, I guess? I Like, did he earn it, really? I, I, I don't know. And we spin the glorious wheel to see who will be attacking next. We're going to see... It does flip over. We're going to see the Wii Fit Trainer. And Wii Fit Trainer will be attacking north. With the Tad West. Yeah, northwest-ish. It was more north than west, so Wii Fit Trainer will be attacking the Me Sword Fighter. Honestly, if the Wii Fit Trainer loses this, that is going to be, like, oh my gosh. The me characters are, like, the worst players in the game. So, Wii Fit Trainer, this is, like, your freebie match. Although Wii Fit Trainer is going up against a me, it is Andrew. Andrew, we have proven, is the best me character I have. So, we're going to see if Andrew can somehow do it. We had some deep breathing, and we saluted the sun. Andrew took 32 damage. Was that from one hit? How did he How is he at 50% damage already? Nice neutral B. Okay, grab into a back throw, into a up air. Golly. Oh, what a dodge. Into a forward smash. Wow. Oh, good deflection of her side B with a neutral B. That tornado is so good. Ah, oh, it doesn't connect fully with the up smash. Just gets a little bit of chip damage. If we Fit Trainer gets this smash ball, it's really bad news for Andrew. Andrew's going to need this just to even have a chance. He does get it with just a good old neutral air. He pops it. I don't think it's going to get the stock, but tons of damage. If Andrew's stage position was better, I think he gets the stock there. Up smash. Okay, not going to get it done. Neutral air. Okay, a grab into a down throw with deep breathing. Neutral B. Andrew needs to do some kind of... Andrew needs to get something going here. Oh, counter! Gets the stock! Andrew could not land that counter to save his life in the me episode. But he gets it there, and it gets Wii Fit Trainer's first stock, and Andrew is looking really good right now. Anything can happen. But Andrew's looking great. He dodges the salute the sun. Okay, up air. Into another one. Ooh, neutral B. Is he going to follow that up with anything? He's trying to get under. Yes, for the up smash. Tries to go for a secondary one. It doesn't land. Down aerial. Dude, Andrew's going nuts. What the heck? I thought Andrew was going to get wrecked. Here we go. Down air. Doesn't really connect too well. Oh, the up B. Okay. Dude, Wii Fit Trainer is having a time right now. Down tilt does not get the stock. Neutral air does not get the stock. Andrew's just laying there. Downward aerial. Neutral B is dodged. Back air isn't. Smash Ball is online. Back throw is not going to get the stock. She could get the smash ball here, though. She does get it. Oh, is she going to get a chance to use the up smash? Doesn't get the stock there. Neutral B is dodged. And then, Andrew gets hit with Wii Fit Trainer smash. <gasps> he lives! What? How did he do that? How did he do it? And then a down B. No, that's a side B. Sorry. Down B is the counter. Oh my gosh. Andrew, this is your round to take. Neutral B. In two. Doesn't land the up smash. He loves that combo though. Neutral air. Neutral B. Oh man. Deep breathing. But it was just enough time for Andrew to get a dash attack. And Andrew with an upset. We finally got a good round. And it was just... It was an upset. I really thought Wii Fit Trainer had that. But Andrew is showing up and showing out. 
I just want to give a quick but purposeful congratulations to Andrew. I want to pause the episode and just congratulate him because, wow, he put out all the stops, got the win, didn't lose a stock. I mean, I was trash talking the me fighters and Andrew shut me up really quick. And here we go again. Three rounds are in the book. So many more to go. Next, we're going to see Little Mac. The cousin of the Big Mac. I'm so sorry. That was... You know what? I'll just leave. Episode's over. I'm gone. Little Mac will be attacking North. After further inspection, there was a tad East to the North, which means Little Mac is going to be fighting me, Gunner. Which is really, really bad for Little Mac because the only stage he's good on is his home turf. So we're going to see if Little Mac can cause an upset or if me Gunner is going to pull off the win. Alright, here we go. We're back on Woohoo Island because all the Mies, technically that is their home turf. Uh, Little Mac is going to be fighting Frank today. Which is technically the Inkling, but here we go. Little Mac is very, very fast. So if anything, that's what Little Mac has going for him. I mean, Frank is not, you know, some some slow, you know... Wow, okay. Wow. Uh, Frank is just saying, Yeah, I'm fast too, Little Mac! And my recovery doesn't suck. So... I don't know what... What is Little Mac doing? He's not, like, attacking. He's just running around. Little Mac, you gotta hit your opponent to win! You know that, right? It's like part of the game. It's like the whole point of the game. <gasps> little Mac did make it. I thought he was gone, bro. Okay, good little jab attack. He has his KO punch. He needs to use it without getting hit. He got hit instantly. Okay, well. Okay, dash attack from Little Mac. This is really bad. If either one of them fall in the water, good uppercut from Little Mac. If one of them falls in the water, it's basically over. Little Mac! The side B gets him back, but Frank read him like a book. Up smash is gonna do it. Dang. Frank has a fully charged neutral B too, so this is really bad for Little Matt. If he lands that, he missed it. I was just talking about it. Commentator curse. Little Matt can't get anything going right now. Little Matt. Bro, do you want to be here? Oh my gosh, the answer is no. The Mies are showing out today. Okay, good up smash. Doesn't get the stock though. And Little Mac kind of needs to get that stock, like, really quickly. What would... Okay, the jab is not going to get it done. Another jab. He does hit... Frank, yo, Little Mac, you gotta pay attention, buddy! <sighs> I thought he didn't make it. Good dodge, good parry! Oh, wow. Frank gets a mid-charge neutral B and now has a almost a fully charged one. Mac with his KO punch! He's at 78 damage, so he's gonna need to get... No okay, I think he just... I think he's gone. Oh, no! He made it back! Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> hey guys, he made it back instantly. Gets hit with a fully charged neutral B. Gosh, that was that was painful to watch. That was just that was ruthless. Is it crazy to say the me fighters might actually stand a chance here? I threw them in because they were a part of, you know, Smash 4. That's when they were first playable characters. But I didn't think they actually stood a chance. They could, theoretically. I'm not saying they will, but they could, theoretically, run the gambit and win the whole thing. But there are way too many fighters to say that for certainty. So let's move on. It has not been a good day for the attackers Let's see if... Does it switch? No. Let's see if Duck Hunt 
can win another game. Duck Hunt will be headed south. I mean, there's like a millimeter west. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. I was correct. The west portion of the direction did not matter. Duck Hunt was always going to fight Villager. Now, we have not seen Villager... Have we seen him at all? I am realizing how few characters we've actually done um, from the Wii U franchise. Uh, we've seen Isabel 800 times. I don't know if we've seen Villager. I think we've seen him once. We've only seen Villager one other time, and that is when he tag-teamed with Isabel. Let's see if he can shut me up and say, Hey, I should have been in multiple Imperialisms, and here's why. Here we go, man's best friend, and bird, versus man. Well, it's duck, I mean, I know, I, I get it, alright? So, Isabel has been catastrophic and lethal in these Imperialisms. So, I'm wondering if Villager's gonna follow suit, or if it's mainly just an Isabel thing. Well, right now, he's getting a good combo going right now, so... He is just boxing Duck Hunt out right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, Duck Hunt doesn't stand a chance at the moment. I mean, he could... I mean, Villager just has the craziest combo going. He pocketed Duck Hunt's bomb because why not? I forgot he could do that. Isabel can do the same thing. I don't know why I forgot that. It's not a Villager exclusive. Okay. Blew up Duck Hunt's neutral B with a side B. Keeping Duck Hunt airborne with just up airs. Duck Hunt has accumulated so much damage. Wow. All of the bombs! And Villager... Oh my gosh! He lost the stock! He threw Duck Hunt's bomb into Duck Hunt's other bomb! And it had such an explosion that... Villager lost the stock. I thought Duck Hunt was going to lose it. But it was... It was Villager. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Duck Hunt has a... Com All of a sudden, Duck Hunt has the lead and he does not look like he's stopping anytime soon. Forward air from Villager is not going to get it done. That slingshot is just crazy powerful for no reason. Grab into a forward throw. Pockets... One bomb and another bomb. I think that was a back air? I don't even know what got Duck Hunt. Really don't even know. Villager has to cook up another crazy combo just to get back in the game. Duck Hunt honestly has just been going nuts ever since Villager used Duck Hunt's bomb against him, but then it backfired. If Duck Hunt hits this, it's over. Dang. It has not been a good day for attackers, but when it comes to Duck Hunt... Well, I was gonna say he gets it done, but it's not done yet. Duck Hunt could choke this away, it is very possible. Villager is a dodging machine right now. He's not getting any damage on Duck Hunt. But my gosh, I'm telling you what, he is dodging the attacks like a madman. If Villager gets hit by another neutral B of Duck Hunt, it, I think it's over. Those neutral Bs do a lot of damage. And as they should, I mean, it is an explosive. Oh, wow. That neutral B almost landed. Oh, Villager! He pickpockets it! Use it against Duck Hunt! And the thing that took his stock! He Uno reverses it! And he gets Duck Hunt! And it's been a terrible day for the attackers. That took some guts from Villager. The move that took his stock and gave Duck Hunt the lead and almost won him the game is the very same move that wins Villager the game when all odds were against him. You got to love a go big or go home play. And Villager did that. What a showcase from him.
He's looking pretty fierce, but not unbeatable. Let's see if anybody else is going to look like if they can give him a run for his money. All I know is one thing. You do not want to be an attacker today. It is not looking good. Next, we're going to see Mr. Omnom himself, Pac-Man. And Pac-Man will be attacking Northeast. Which is just barely a good enough angle to attack Palutena. We've only seen her once or twice. And in her like one or two showings, it was not impressive. I'm not going to lie. She like ran off the stage immediately. So, let's see if she can redeem herself this time. She has home field advantage. Last time she kind of did. This time it is her home turf. It has her name in it. So, we know this is her home turf. Let's do it. I'm very, very, very excited to see what Politana can do. Um, I remember using her in um, Smash 4. I enjoyed when I got to use Palutena. I was never good with Palutena, but it was always fun. Um, I mean, the projectiles, the explosives, I, it was just a blast. And I do not um, mean that ironically. I know the explosions, blast, it's funny. I didn't mean it. I'm only funny when I don't mean the joke. That's usually how it ends up. Okay. Both characters are going back and forth right now. Pac-Man is using that recovery to, like, the maximum efficiency. I'm scared he's going to misjudge or mistime one of them and just fall off. Politana is probably well-versed here. Oh, good. Side B into a neutral B. That was a great combo. And then another side B. All right, didn't quite get that one, but I mean, hey, the, the effort was there. All right. Okay, a footstool from Pac-Man on Palutena. Smash Ball is active. It's a little hard to see because we zoomed out for the Smash Ball. Palutena got a side B, and it looks like they're both going towards the Smash Ball. I don't know if either one is going to make it. Another side B explosion from Palutena. She loves that move. She just keeps whipping that out for no reason. Okay. Good neutral air, or might have been an up air, actually. I haven't seen Palutena a whole lot. I don't know her moveset very well. So I may call a move the wrong thing. Alright, both competitors are in danger territory. They are both at kill percent. And honestly, they both just need one good hit. A forward air is not going to do it. Oh, the stage is hindering Pac-Man. Here we go. Palutena's home field helping her out. I don't know what Palutena's trying to do here. Okay, back air gets blocked. Up smash does not, though. Pillar of light. I mean, that's going to get you every time, Pac-Man. I don't know what to tell you. Wow, they played ring around the rosy. Golly. Wow, the neutral B spam. Forward smash. Palutena lives because she's Palutena. Ooh! The stun into a back throw into a strawberry. Palutena is in danger territory. I'll tell you what. Pac-Man needs to hit her with, like, anything. And it, it's probably over. Side B is parried. What a grab into a down throw, into the stage hazard, into an up smash, into the stage hazard again. Politana is still, okay, and Pac-Man just hit, a, hit her with his, his house keys. Little keychain action. What a combo that Politana had. I know she lost her stock, but my gosh, that was a combo of the century right there. It was looking great, it was doing damage, it was, everything about it was beautiful. Another stun. Pac-Man is really good at landing that into a Fire Hydrant down B. Up smash and the stage saved Pac-Man. Saved him again with the up air. Back air is not enough to do it. Forward air isn't enough. If I'm Palutena, I'm, I'm kind of cursing my stage right now. 
Because it has saved Pac-Man a few times. And if Pac-Man wins this, although the stage helped her a lot, if Pac-Man wins, the stage is what costed her the round. Which is crazy. Okay, Palutena, what you doing? Why, why are we falling off the edge for no reason? Palutena, if you fall off the stage, it is not the stage's fault. I know I said it's the stage's fault if you lose. Wow, the stage saved him again. At this point, you gotta wonder whose home turf it actually is. Back air doesn't do it either. Palutena is clamoring just for something to work. Down tilt doesn't get it done. Back air doesn't get it done again. Up smash finally after he plays ping pong ball, pinball, whatever you want to call it. Golly, after he bounces off the stage 800 times, Palutena finally gets the stock. And we got to move on. That match took eight hours. I think Palutena has a really good shot if she can just you know, box her opponents and distance herself with those explosives. The up smash, side B combo, I think that's going to be her key to victory if she can get it done. She kind of played sloppy, and honestly, I thought she was going to lose right at the end there, but she did get it done. It has been literal ages since an attacker has won, and we're going to see Palutena. Let's see if she can be the second attacker to win. I think the first one was Duck Hunt, and he is no longer with us, so... Palutena, you got back-to-back -back rounds. This time, you're not on your home field, which honestly might be a blessing in disguise. Palutena is attacking West. We've done funky angles before on the channel. This is another one at the bottom of Palutena's area. West does intersect with Bowser Jr.'s. Both of these fighters have already acquired land, so there is a lot at stake here. Let's see who ends up winning this. Here we go, back on Mushroom Kingdom U. Let's see what we got here. Palutena, let's see if she can continue the hot streak. I mean, it would be a hot streak if she won this one. Good side B, almost landed another one. Wasn't able quite to get it though. Dude, she's really close with these side Bs and the ones that don't look like they're gonna land are the ones that actually hit. So weird. Um, last round, Bowser Jr. started off very, very slow. And it's looking like he's doing the same thing again. Finally gets a grab for some damage, but Palutena had a lot. And now, okay, Bowser Jr. closed the gap. Wow, he just he shut me up really quick. Side B, wow. Bowser Jr.'s side B canceled out by Palutena's side B. Very exciting. A lot of dodges between both competitors. Up B into a forward air from Jr. That was really good. That was a good combo. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Wow. What was that? I, I don't even know what move that was. It was impressive is what it was. That's the answer. Okay. Palutena is concerned with Nabbit right now. And Junior's actually getting some hit, some free hits. Nabbit is no longer in the picture. So we got an up tilt. Side B was an interesting play. Up smash lands. Side B connects. Oh, she landed that up smash. I think that's a stock. But she didn't. Up air. Doesn't get the stock. I was going to say, she has a free hit on Junior. Pops the recovery way too early. And that was the easiest stock of her life. Dude, Junior's got the combos for days, though. He's looking like Wii U Ness right now. If you know, you know. Good neutral. Good neutral B. A tri triple neutral. Quadruple neutral B? Wow. Side B does not connect there. But Palutena has closed the gap with her. Um, oh, good reflection. If only Junior was in range of that. That would have been catastrophic for him. All right, both competitors in the 80s right now. Palutena with a good cancellation and almost hit an up smash off of it. What? What had? Was that a down smash? I just see her angelic wings... And Bowser Jr. flying 80 miles west. What happened? Okay. It's good to be Palutena. She broke the attacker curse. Good for her.
After that round, Politana controls the entire northwestern quadrant portion of the map. Whatever you want to call it, she owns it, and she does not plan to give it up. Here we go again, the final 10 fighters. We have yet to see like half the cast. Here we go, finally, somebody new. We're going to see Greninja. And he's at that um, southwestern part of the map with like five other characters surrounding him. So most likely we're going to see a new fighter. Greninja is attacking east. Which means we are going to see two new fighters. Greninja is going to be fighting Roy. So let's see how that works out. Here we go at the Colosseum. A ninja versus a knight. Who is going to come out on top here? Honestly, I like both of these guys. Today's episode has not been a whole lot of uh, me favoring a character. I, I honestly like a lot of these competitors. I'm very happy either way this ends up. Okay, wow. Look at Roy. Oh my gosh, Roy's going nuts! The aerial counter was nuts. And the, oh my gosh. The fight has been going on for 30 seconds. And Roy got a stock. Now Greninja has tons of ground to make up. And Greninja's looking like he's gonna do it. I'll shut up and never speak again. Roy humiliated Greninja, and he will never see the battlefield ever again. You know, I was just thinking to myself, man, like, we got a lot of fighters to go. I want to record another video after this one tonight. Um, we got to speed this thing up. And Roy said, I got you. No worries. That round lasted, like, maybe 50 seconds. That might have been the fastest battle in imperialism history. And the next fight, will it be just as quick? Probably not. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Villager is back on the scene. And besides Roy, he has looked like the scariest competitor. But Roy made Villager look like a pushover, honestly. That was quite literally insane. Villager will be attacking south. This might be the most land at stake. We're going to see Villager taking on me, Gunner, who is Frank. Frank did a great job against Little Mac, but Villager is an entirely different beast. Who do you have winning this one? I genuinely don't know. Like, I would say Villager, but every time I have a pick, they usually lose. And Frank, honestly, he did really good last round, so I don't want to vote either one of them out. They did great. Okay, Villager gets a quick side B. Okay. Frank has a lot of projectile and explosives that could be used against some of village or pickpockets it like that. But honestly, the explosions could help him out because who doesn't like explosions? If you don't like explosions, I don't think you're American. Which, honestly, half of my viewers aren't, so it's okay. Dude, Villager is just juggling Frank in the air. Oh my gosh. It's like it's his day job. Wow. Pickpocketed the side B. Wow, dude, Villager's going nuts. All right, let's see it. Villager's going for that slingshot, that slingshot that does 800 damage for no reason. Frank getting the neutral B all charged. He doesn't get it fully charged, but I mean, it's, it's up there. I think the next two hits break it. Maybe the next hit, honestly. Okay, it was one hit. Frank parried the side B. Oh no! Frank! Landed right in the fireworks and Villager still has the smash ball. This is not looking good for Frank right now. They're dancing around the tree. Villager! Is he gonna notice in time? He does. Wow. Villager is holding on to this thing. I was gonna say like he's saving it for a rainy day. He finally does he pop it. Dude, Frank is already a whole stock behind. Villager is not messing around. Frank needs to, like, get a stock instantly and then get the Smash Ball, and he might have a shot. Like, this is crazy that Villager is going this... He's going nuts! Up Smash is not enough to get him. 
Neutral B might! Ooh, cancellation with a down air. Frank! Frank! Oh my gosh, bro. Can't be doing that. Good back air. I don't think it's enough, though. Oh, down smash was just a little too early. Frank needs to save that neutral B for the next stock. A good forward smash. Save the neutral B. He just needs to dodge a few attacks from Villager. Pop, hit land the neutral B. And he missed. Okay, well. That was like part one, bro. You had to land it. And I was going to say get the smash ball. Like, there's going to be this whole epic storyline. And then you just missed it. You, you do got a good combo going. I just don't know if it's enough. I mean, like, you're battered and bruised. If you get hit by a slingshot, you're dying. Oh my gosh. Frank went low for that. He knew if he didn't, Villager was going to hit him with a slingshot or rocket or something. Yeah, I mean, it was never even close, dude. Villager is absurd. Why is Villager and Isabel like the best computer players in the game? I don't understand. I genuinely can't tell if Villager is the scariest or if it's Roy. I think if we get one more round out of Roy, I can confidently say one of them is the scariest. But those two competitors? I'm scared for everybody else. Here we go. The top eight competitors remain. And we haven't seen, I think, three of them. Are we going to see Villager again? We are. Villager is on a tear right now and he does not plan to stop. Villager is headed north. Honestly, I think that's the best north we got. We could technically go east and see Villager attack uh, me brawler. Um, I don't know. I, I Something's just telling me that he's attacking Politana. If you disagree, oh well. He's probably going to kill both of them, so I really don't think it matters at the end of the day. Can Politana do the unthinkable and stop Villager? Or is he just too powerful? Politana had some issues on her home turf before, but at the end of the day, it did work in her favor. Both characters use a side B, and Politana's is a little more explosive, quite literally, than Villager's. All right, they are exchanging hit for hit. Both competitors are going nuts right now. Okay, throw into, or grab into a down throw. Okay, Villager has a small lead right now. Ooh, the up tilt into the stage hazard was a great play by Villager. Oh, good up throw. Okay, what the heck just happened? I think Politana up smashed Villager, but the growth of the tree sent Politana flying. Somehow. Very confused right now, but whatever. Okay, good dash attack. If he slingshot, if he used a slingshot, he might have actually gotten the stock. That slingshot's crazy powerful for no reason. Good dodge of the up smash from Villager. Smash ball is here. So the... Camera's kind of tiny. All right, it's getting a lot bigger. Okay, both competitors are going towards the smash ball, so we actually get to see what they're what they're doing. That's great. Up smash from Villager does get the smash ball, and he misses it. Politana baited him with the teleportation. Up smash from Politana that almost got Villager. Villager's at kill percent, and Politana's been at kill percent. Stage saved her. Stage almost messed her up. Ooh. Okay, both players using their recovery to perfection. Neutral air from Politana! And Villager! He makes it back! That's nuts. Up air, that's gonna do it. I mean, that was crazy. Politana with a disrespectful dash dance, too? She doesn't care. The stage saved her again! She said, hit me 800 times. The stage is going to save me 799 of them. I don't care. You are a child. A literal child. 
Wow, the stage is just saving Palutena over and over. It is her home turf, so we expect it, but my gosh! We've seen her home turf and other home turfs backfire for competitors, and this has just been absolute perfection. I don't know if Palutena is just better or if she's just luckier, because it's looking like the latter right now. She is still alive. Are you kidding me? How is she here? Bro. <laughs> There we go, a slingshot from Villager. And Palutena did not get nearly enough damage on Villager to get a hefty lead. Only 25%, but the Smash Ball is back. If Palutena gets this, she could dethrone Villager and honestly shake up the entire map. Good down smash. Okay, Palutena's getting a huge combo and pops the Smash Ball. She's going to do it. Palutena handled swiftly and handily Villager and he is out of the video and Palutena just pulled off what might be the greatest upset on in channel history. I just know Villager fans and Animal Crossing lovers are livid with me right now. But that's just how the cookie crumbles. We have yet to see four fighters, and Palutena controls over half the island. So, something's bound to happen, and Palutena's probably going to be involved. Let's see who is next to fall. Ten fighters have already fallen. Next, we're going to see Palutena. She wants more chaos, and she's going to do it herself. And she might pay for it. Palutena is attacking West. Which means we are going to see Roy, the two scariest competitors right now. Palutena and Roy. Roy dealt with his competitor in like 48 seconds. But Palutena is looking to cause some damage. Unfortunately for her, we are going back to Roy's home turf. And he will mess you up. Here we go, no time to waste. Put your guesses in now. Does Palutena continue to win? Or does Roy deal with her in less than two minutes? Okay, miss a side B. Hit the up smash though. It's more than what Greninja did. Greninja lost the stock by this point. Okay, wow. Dude, Roy just goes, I thought Palutena got a stock. She did, okay, what the heck is happening? I think that was a ba down smash into a back air or something. Dude, she's going nuts. Palutena humiliated herself in the franchise Imperialism where she teamed up with Pit. And she... Dude. She's gonna take out Roy. Like, Roy dealt with Greninja in quite literally 50 seconds... And Palutena is about to do the exact same thing. I think this round is lasting a tad longer, but it's not... I mean, look at the... The stats tell you everything. Roy is at 100%. Palutena still has both of her stocks. It's over, honestly. Roy, thanks for playing, man. We appreciate you being here. But... Okay, hold on. Neutral B. Roy says, I'm not out of it yet. Let me get a cheeky stock here. He could actually win this still. If he plays his cards right, he could do it. Okay, and he lost. Don't we love Commentator Curse, baby? It's great. I don't see anybody stopping her. Crazier things have happened, but I'm looking at the map. I'm looking at the competitors, and I'm genuinely asking, can anybody dethrone Palutena? I don't know. Here we go, six fighters left, and we are going to see... Hey, Rosalina, it's a new fighter! That's great! I don't know if Rosalina actually has any other area to attack except Palutena. I think she might be trapped. I mean, there's really not anywhere else she can attack. I mean, I guess we could finagle a four... Like, I... Uh, uh, nah, I mean... It, it's pretty clear Rosalina only has one area to attack. It is Palutena! We're going back to her temple! 
It has been the episode of Woohoo Island and Politanus Temple. Here we go! To, I, well, is Politana a princess? She's more like a guardian angel, right? I'm not huge into the Icarus lore and I don't know everything, but Rosalina's a galaxy princess and then... Honestly, this fight kind of fits. Guardian Angel and Galaxy Princess, I mean, that's a fight that I'd watch. Dude, Palutena's nuts. I don't think Palutena was this good in the Wii U version. Like, did she get buffed between the games? Probably. I don't know, maybe she got nerfed. I really don't know. I don't keep up with this stuff, but I don't think she was this good. I don't remember this. And I feel like I would remember this level of just like, no contestness. That's not an adjective, but whatever. Okay, Rosalina getting a combo. Oh my gosh! Okay, that forward smash was devastating. Destroyed Luma. Luma's just not even here anymore. Luma is deceased. Turned into galaxy particles. Alright, good up tilt. Luma is back. Anything that Rosalina does, Palutena does it ten times better. Like, Rosalina will hit Palutena, and then Palutena laughs as she just like... Yeah, as she does that, exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you, Palutena, for showing. Like, that was right, clear as day, right? Are there any questions? There will be a test on this. Okay, good up tilt. Okay, Luma! Oh! I think that might have been a down smash. Down air! Rosalina, what are you doing? She went low! She makes it. That's craziness. Dude, the down air smash thing that Luma's doing almost took Politana's stock twice. Okay, another up tilt. Wow! Forward smash missed, which would have been crucial if Rosalina hit it. Grab, down throw... Luma disrupts Palutena. Okay, she's still alive. She is still alive, people. I thought Palutena was going to go low. Okay, Luma went low. A little too low, if you ask me. Okay, Palutena's just teleporting in front of Rosalina just to toy with her. Up smash. Missed a down smash. Um, side B missed. Fourth throw might... Okay, it does get the stock, but honestly, the, um, I don't know if Rosalina can make it back. It's just, the lead might be too great. Although, she's fighting, though. I'll give her props where props are due. Ro I thought Palutena SD'd. Okay, Rosalina's actually kind of cooking. Smash Ball is online. If Rosalina gets this, she could 180 the script. Luma just said he didn't want to play anymore. Palutena got it and... Rosalina dodged it. Wow. That was quite impressive from Rosalina. And she's still fighting. Dude, if I'm Rosalina, i give up eight years ago. Okay. Palutena is parrying everything. Knocks Luma off for like the 19th time. Alright, the jab stage. I mean, it didn't really save her, but it didn't like mess her up either. Dude, Rosalina could actually make this comeback. She has gotten tons of damage on Palutena, and Palutena cannot seem to just get the last hit on Rosalina. This is 1000% on Palutena if she loses. She has had ample opportunity to get rid of Rosalina, and she has not. Like, you just need one good hit, Palutena. Just one. She's a 163. Just hit her with, like, anything that's not... That doesn't do two damage. Oh my gosh, Palutena's gonna lose. Forward smash, and the stage saved her. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Rosalina! Dude, it's upset after upset after upset today. What is happening? 
Rosalina upsets Palatina after Palatina makes crazy comeback after crazy comeback was not on my bingo card. And yes, that was very specific. We have yet to see three fighters. Me Brawler has not hit the field. Neither has Lucina. Neither has Dark Pit. We need to see somebody. Here we go, the final five. And next we're going to see... Wow, it just doesn't stop. Rosalina said, yeah, I want it. I want another fight. Whoever has the most land, the power is going to their head. And honestly, the attackers have not been blessed this episode. So I'm not liking Rosalina's chances. Rosalina decides that she will be attacking East. Which means we are going to see a new fighter. The Me Brawler is entering the stage. We're going back to Woohoo Island. And Me Brawler could either A, pull off an upset like both the Me Sword Fighter and the Me Gunner, or B, fall to Rosalina and, I mean, maybe lose some pride. I really don't know what the other outcome is. You know it's your boy representing the Me Brawlers, Rosalina and Luma, against yours truly. Um, also, we are on technically my home turf, although my recovery isn't great for this stage. It's okay. Okay, good up tilt. Oh, good side B. Oh my gosh. Bro, I got mad flips. Up air. Shot put, aka neutral B. Ru the Luma's gone. That's huge for me. I know I said I like all the fighters today. I mean, obviously I'm going to root for me. Nothing wrong with Rosalina, but I am the other person. I thought... <gasps> I don't know why I thought she was going to SD. Like, that was stupid to think. Good little back air. Oh my gosh. Side B on Luma. Down air on Rosalina. Miss my side B. Hit that side B, and she's gone. Smash Ball is online, and Rosalina did get it. That's not good for me. She could easily tie this up, and she might. I'm doing all I know how to do. Hop in the water. Let's go. My field awareness and genius strikes again. Ooh, parry, and then a forward smash on Luma. I am just manhandling Luma. I do not want Rosalina to have her little buddy. Alright, that will be the reason I lose. Dude, okay, if she footstooled me, I just... If she footstools me at any time where there is a death barrier below me, I just... I just die. Hey, it's Frisbee Dog! Dude, I'm parrying like nuts. I'm going crazy with the parries. Oh, oh, oh! Luma's on stage and she wasn't. I was like, okay, is she gonna make it? Good uh, down throw. Okay, oh, see, here's what I'm talking about. Luma just, they space themselves perfectly and then I'm just gonna lose. I mean, I do have a stock lead. If I'm the one playing, I'm doing my helicopter recovery and just ending this battle. Back throw, that doesn't do it. Oh, but a kick to the face, Will, and your boy takes all the land ever <laughs> and dude the amount of land mass that has transferred from player to player we've never seen anything like it and then there were four and surprisingly me brawler having the most amount of land mass also wasn't on my bingo card this episode is just full of surprises Am I going to follow suit? Usually whoever has the most landmass decides to fight. No, I will not follow suit. I'm actually smart. Dark Pit gets to attack, and I think there's only one person he can attack, however. Yeah, there's no need to spin a wheel. There's only one way he can attack. We're going back to Woohoo Island, but um, now I'm fighting Dark Pit. So, yeah, one bad thing about having all the landmass is you're going to encounter a lot of fights. Here we go. This episode has been long enough, and we still got the semifinals and the finals to go, not including this round, so we got to pick up the pace here. Can I pull off another victory, or was it a one-time deal? Dark Pit is just 
He said it's he's, he's saying it's one time. It was a one-time deal. You know what? All right, I get it, bro. I get it. It was a one-time deal. Just kidding. I'm going nuts. Okay, and of course I had to open up my big fat mouth. Good little side B. Oh my gosh. Tying things up after having a terrible start to the round. Oh, good up smash. Side B missed, sadly. That one, he blocked. Okay. Oh my gosh, no! No, we were just going down to the water! He spiked it! Oh my gosh, dude. We were like two seconds away from that not being a death zone. Oh, dude, that hurts. And I footstool him when it doesn't freaking matter. Good side B! That doesn't get him? Next hit breaks the smash ball. I gotta freaking go, dude. Okay, good throw, I guess. I gotta save that smash ball for next stock. I gotta get him out without using the smash ball and then use that on his next stock. With And I can't take a lot of damage. Good up smash! And I saved the smash ball. That's huge. I gotta pop it, bro. No, I, that's why... Listen to me! <laughs> Next hit should break the smash ball. Oh, gosh. Honestly, just let it go. Let it go. Or hit it! Yes, I got it again! And I hit it! Let's go! Is that gonna be enough, though? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe! Oh, of course not. I have taken a lead, though. After a catastrophic spike. Oh my gosh, dude, Dark Pit is stressing me out. I'm stressed! Ooh, good cancellation of the side B with a neutral B. Oh, please. No! I don't have a jump! He ate my jump, bro! And Dark Pit takes all the land. The transfer of land never stops. Dark Pit just took all the land that I took from Palutena, that took from Villager, that took from Duck... Like, I don't even remember how we got here. Dark Pit, Lucina, and Misor Fighter, aka Andrew. We're gonna see Dark Pit. And it does depend on which way he attacks. If it's more north, it's gonna be Andrew, and Lucina goes... But if it's more south, Lucina will be fighting, meaning Andrew makes it to another finals. Dark Pit is headed south. That Lucina is fighting Pit, Dark Pit, on her home turf. And Andrew is making it to his second finals. The first finals he had was free. It was against all me fighters. This time, he kind of earned it. I mean, he won one battle and then dodged everybody, but he semi-earned it this time. So, who is going to be fighting Andrew in the finals? Is it the Dark Andrew? Whoa. The Dark Andrew. No, the Dark Angel Pit, who ruined my run. Or is it going to be Lucina? The Marth copycat that couldn't get it done in the Echo Fighter Imperialism. Is she... If you don't want to play, just let me know. You don't have to SD 30 seconds in. Just tell me. Use your words next time. Oh my gosh, Lucina. If she wins this, that is the ultimate disrespect. I don't think she will, though. 30 second SD? Like, that, that does not bode well for you. You're barely keeping pace if you had both stocks. And you don't. So you are a whole stock behind. I don't understand today's episode. Today's episode has stressed me out. It has confused me. I don't understand. I'm just confused. Yeah, Lucina, dude, I don't know what the what the tactic was she went way too low for her own good she's on her home turf she knows the limits like that's what's confusing me like if it was dark pits home turf at least it kind of makes sense she doesn't understand the limits but this is like her home turf what are you doing 
It's too late, Lucina. You've already just fall off, okay? What a freaking back air. Dark Pit had his side B revved up and ready to go. Back air cancellation. That was sick. You know what would be even cooler and sicker? If you had both stocks and you did that. If Lucina wins this with the Smash Ball, I'm actually going to be livid. She does not deserve this. Next hit breaks it. Lucina could get it. Oh my gosh. Dark Pit's going to get it. Oh my gosh, Lucina instantly hit it out of him. Oh my gosh, Lucina has. If Lucina wins... Thank you, Dark Pit! Do not reward her stupidity! I mean, I'm mad because you, you got... Uh, actually, now I'm conflicted. You ruined my run, but you stopped Lucina from... I don't know how I feel. I'm conflicted! Who is going to take the crown home? Is it Dark Pit who ruined my run and honestly got... Very, very lucky against Lucina. Lucina wins that 8 out of 10 times. Maybe even 9 out of 10. Or is it going to be Andrew who just crushed Wii Fit Trainer and then said, Everyone else, you have fun tearing yourselves apart. I'll just sit right here and walk myself into another final. We're going to spin to see who attacks, giving the other person home field advantage. And of course, we're going to bump up the stock count to 3. Here we go. Dark Pit is attacking, meaning we're going back to Woohoo Island for one final match, giving Andrew home field advantage. Andrew, I wish you good luck. Dark Pit is not holding back, but I know you won't either. I want to give a huge shout out to Liam Hargrave, Hargraves, Hargreaves, Chef 5. I don't know how to say your um, username, but you know who you are. Uh, Liam left a comment saying, Hey, you should do an imperialism based on every game. So um, that was Melee, Brawl, a Wii U, Ultimate, you know, all of them. Um, where the characters in that game just fought it out. And I technically did the original A, and I uh, technically did one with Brawl. So I thought it'd only be fair to do one with Wii U. Um, so technically I did take his idea, but it was altered slightly. So, um, big shout outs to him for that idea. Um, yeah, I really did appreciate the idea. I thought it was awesome. Um, and I know I'm still missing a game. I think I'm missing Melee or the other one. I I'm missing one, and I may go back and do that. But we're not concerned about that right now. We're concerned with Dark Pit versus Andrew. Who is going to win this Imperialism? Who is the best Smash Wii U 3DS fighter? We're about to find out right now. Okay, wow. Uh, Dark Pit side B just cancels out the neutral B. That's great. Love love to know that. Fantastic. Okay, Andrew should have double home field advantage. This is the sword play arena. And Andrew's a sword fighter. Look, as soon as he landed here, started playing instantly better. I mean, Dark Pit's also playing great. So maybe... Okay, it wasn't the stage. I lied. Um... All right, Andrew's, honestly, he's been playing great today. This is his second fight, or maybe his third. I think it's only his second. He's played great. He did win in Imperialism. Yes, it was against other Mies, but I mean, you know, he was the best one. Oh, if that in ending animation, the hero slash actually landed, I think. Andrew gets the stock! He did! And he would have before. He also now has the Smash Ball. Down air! Oh my gosh, what a combo! What a combo! Did you see that? The down air into the ultimate smash! And Andrew knew Dark Pit was in a terrible situation. And he got two stocks in less than 30 seconds. Andrew's nuts. He's gonna win another Imperialism. What is going on? Dude, I this episode has been so weird. This is probably the strangest Smash Imperialism video on the channel. Everything that's happened, I did not expect. But I wouldn't have it any other way. It's crazy, it's bonkers, it's bananas, and I love it. 
Wow. A minute and a half and Andrew's done. He said, okay, bring me to the finals. Who's going to tell him that that was the finals? And he won his second imperialism video. There you have it. It is official that me, Swordfighter, is the best Smash character that was added in Smash Wii U. Which, for like the 19th time, the 20th time, the 100th time, I don't know how, know how many times I've said it, that was not on my bingo card. <laughs> it just wasn't. I knew it was good, but he just beat every other person that was added in the Wii U game. Um, yeah. That's going to end today's video. Thanks for watching. Andrew, you have earned your ticket into the Season 3 finale. And you've won your second Imperialism video. Which is a lot more than most people could say. I think only Kirby and maybe Bowser and Isabel can say that. So, congrats. You're in, you're in very good and elite company. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I got tons of viewer ideas coming up. And a few of my own. And we will have a Season 3 finale, of course. I'm working on that as the videos come out. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys continue to enjoy this series and these videos. I'll see you next time for a part two of a video that I've done, but a viewer decided to um, amp it up a bit and change some of the, the teams and rules. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for a very, very exciting episode.